Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber and yes, it is a double upload today. The second video I am making because yesterday it has been announced, well, yesterday it was announced that Ricky Collard will be making his BTCC return and his full season debut this year at Toyota alongside Rory Butcher. So, let's get straight into this. Yes, guys, that is right. Ricky Collard is returning to the BTCC grid for his first full season of touring car racing this year in 2022 alongside Rory Butcher. He is, of course, joining Toyota Gazoo Racing this year, replacing Sam Smelt, um, who, of course, uh, wasn't the best of drivers last year. Um, but Ricky Collard, the Collard name is Back, ladies and gentlemen, of course, as we know, Ricky Collard is the eldest son of Rob Collard, the touring car legend that he is. And of course, Rob Collard, as we know, the 2020 British GT champion. Um, but Ricky, he has got an awesome CV of motorsport. Janetta Juniors, British F4 in 2014 and 2015, came runner-up to Lando freaking Norris in British F4. So that does tell you how good Ricky is. And of course, as we know, he has raced in the BTCC before, debuting in 2018, uh, replacing his father, ironically, um, who was injured out with a crash. Um, and then Ricky came in, achieved the podium as well. Ricky, of course, the BMW is a very good car, but Ricky, to get a podium in... In what? You think, how many races did he have? Nine races, I think? To get a podium in your first nine races... It's talent. Let's be honest. It's talent. Uh, and of course, as we know, Ricky Collard most recently has been on the GT circuit. He has been a works Aston Martin driver. Funny enough, when Rob, when his father Rob was a works Lamborghini driver. But um, but yeah, Ricky, of course, um, if, I believe it was this year or last year, Ricky Collard was let go by Aston Martin. Um, of course, um, I'd imagine to go to, to race for Toyota this year. Um and so, yeah, it's great to see Ricky back. Ricky has touring car racing in his blood. His father, of course, Rob, touring car legend. Um, and, of course, his grandfather, a stock car racer um, as well. So it, there is argy-bargy, elbows-out kind of racing in Ricky's blood. And I cannot wait to see what Ricky's going to do in that Toyota. The Toyota is a very good car. As, as we know, Tom Ingram competed for the championship in the Toyota. Roy Butcher had a very good first year last year in that Toyota. Sam Smell, of course, scored some points. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see what Ricky can do. And let's not forget, Toyota are the team with the most experience with the hybrid power. Uh, of course, as we know, last year we saw the hybrid in action. It was testing across last year. And, of course, it made a race weekend uh, in the hands of Andrew Jordan, um, who, of course, will be doing minis again this year. Um, so, yeah, to see Ricky back, absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to see what he can do. My prediction for him, um, he'll have to get used to front-wheel drive. Of course, he's been used to rear-wheel drive in Ginettas, in F4, and, of course, in GT. So, this is uh, a big step for him um, coming, coming in now as a full competitor. He has to get used to front-wheel drive. Um, so this will be a big step up for him, but I feel like he can do it because as I've said, Ricky is a great racer, almost as good as his father, if not better, unpopular opinion there. Um, but yeah, as, as I said, Ricky Collard, he came second in F4 to Lando Norris. Of course, that Lando won that championship by a country mile, but still to be second to Lando Norris, of course, as we know, multiple time F1 podium finisher, Oh, sadly didn't get that race win. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ricky is a great racer. I, I've said that countless times already in this video. Um, but yeah, I, I have no doubt in my mind that Ricky is going to get a lot of points. Uh, I would not be surprised if he won the Jack Sears Trophy this year. Um, I, I can see Ricky winning that potentially. Maybe a few more podiums. Maybe a win. That's a bit of a stretch. But I would not be surprised if he won a race. The Toyota is a very good car. Of course, he is in his first full year, but he's got a podium before in his in his in his, in his first nine races. So Ricky is going to be much better than Sam Smelt, in my opinion. No disrespect to Sam Smelt, but Ricky is a much better driver, and I feel like Toyota have made a great signing here. So yeah, but. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you happy of, with, with seeing Ricky Collard in the Toyota? And of course, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you are new, and share with your mates because it does help my channel grow. Because as I keep saying, we are on the road to 100 subscribers. Hopefully, we will get to 100 by the end of 2022. So get sharing, get subscribing, get, get liking as well because that helps as well. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.